What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on the Rise and Grind YouTube channel. We are out here at 3 a.m. About to get ready to go do a load here. Picking up a boat trailer for a driver, bring it back to our yard. We are gonna show you today what it's like a day in a life at a Flanagan's food service delivery driver. I'll try to show you from start to finish, maybe a couple tips, pointers, maybe answer some questions that people may have about the industry that uh, they've always been wondering when they see the trucks and trailers and see what, wonder what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, here we are, guys. Once again, thanks for coming back. Watch another uh, video at the Rise and Grind YouTube channel. Really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy it. All right, guys. So we're all hooked up. Got unit B71 today. Grabbing the meat wagons. We've already done our pre-trip. Everything's all good. Everything checks out. Lights are all good. Tires are all good. Make sure we got our rope bags. It's actually not a beautiful morning right now. It's got to be at least 45 degrees outside. A couple lift gates. Show everybody here today uh, what it's like running a lift gate delivery service here. In my opinion, there's no other way. It's one of the best ways to get deliveries off with the most respect to the driver and the human being that's doing the job, the physical work, physical part of things. All right, guys, looks like we're ready to rock here. Let's do it. We got another truck of ours hanging out here. We ain't gonna use her today, but P717. Let's get after it. It's an amazing place. 
It's amazing how they treat their drivers, whether they're, they're owner operators or whether they're uh, employees. We uh, we'll fit right in over here. And we started with one truck. There's days where we're already running two, like today. So the yard from our original yard is probably about 45 minutes away. <coughs> But all the works where our original yard is so i'm gonna go get both i got both loads bring it back we're gonna go to our yard drop the one trailer keep ours bring the other trailer for the other driver that's gonna do the second load today and we will get started with our deliveries so this particular style is uh, liftgate style as i mentioned um it's a very unique style you see a lot of the bigger companies like Tim Hortons and uh, Gordon Food Service there's a few other ones I'm probably missing right now McDonald's which is Martin Brower they run liftgate style deliveries guys and I think the reason why for this I'm starting to realize the more and more and more we use less ramps is uh, just easier on the driver it's an easier way to get the product off you know you know um, you don't have to dig inside the truck. You can bring the whole pallet down, which allows you to get around the whole pallet. Um, you know, and it just makes it that much more simple. You're not digging, you can bring the stuff to the door. And at the same time, if there's any errors on your truck, you can find a nice spot to offload and you can fix it. Now, sometimes it doesn't always go as smooth as what I'm saying. Whether a power walker comes, comes down with no power or it's dead or no battery, no one charged it never know but being a broker you gotta have uh, you gotta have the necessities with you to get yourself out of silly situations so we can charge them we carry extension cords we carry booster packs in case lift game dies or whatever the case is we're prepared guys we're prepared for situations that are thrown at us especially when you're out here right now what time is it 3.33 a.m. I woke up today at 1.30, went, got my truck, did my pre-trip, went on out there, and now I'm headed back. Probably, I'd say I'm going to work, we will work till about 11 in the morning, so it's not too bad. It's an interesting shift. We're out here in the middle of the night where there's not too much cars, okay? There's, uh, there's keys for restaurants, so we're not dealing with customers and busy parking lots and all that stuff. We're able to get in, do our jobs, and get home back to our families where we belong. If anyone's got any questions, uh, both food service industry or anything you want to add, any tips that you feel might be helpful that I may be leaving out, feel free to uh, leave a message in the comments, guys. We appreciate any feedback. We haven't had too much feedback as far as comments go. We would uh, try to like to get some more. As you see all those flashing red lights, those are all windmills. A lot of windmills around here. So, we're going to get to this. We're going to keep trotting down this uh, Highway 401. We're going to bring you back down to the most southern part of Canada. That's right. Well to the south here. Show you guys how we unhook these trailers and we will get to deliver. All right, all right. So it was kind of too dark. We couldn't really show uh, how to unhook the V trains. However, we're rocking and rolling on our way to our first stop. Wonderful Saturday morning. Like we're in Pink Panther World, but again, those are the greenhouse lights, the southern greenhouse lights. We're gonna try and get as much footage as we can today, guys, of the delivery and everything. We, uh, the other driver that we just dropped the trailer off just called me and said he can't get his back door open, so we're gonna hurry up, do our first call, 
go back and try and meet up with them and see if we can help get this door open. Because right now it's 4.30 in the morning and there's no mechanics, dispatch, nobody's open right now, probably for another four hours. So if we don't figure out the issues ourselves, then we're sitting in the dark by ourselves for, well, four hours. One thing about being a broker and being a driver out here in the middle of the night on your own, there's a little shot of some of the greenhouses here, is that no matter what, you gotta get the job done. So you gotta go to extreme levels to do things you might not think you'd have to do. Otherwise, you're just sitting around with your hands in your pockets, which nobody makes money doing that. Well, not my style anyway. friendly channel however in Canada there is a certain thing that is legal and you are seeing where they grow it if everyone knows what I mean guys it's everywhere pink 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 all right let's do it first stop AW Verify trailer, yes. Okay, so regular food service trailer. So we have, this is the freezer side, this is the cooler side. Technically, the freezer is generally blocked off, but probably because the freezer is so big, they switch it over. So the freezer is wide open. Our cooler side is here. Sorry, cooler and dry. I'm gonna set you guys up and show you guys how it's done here. So you can see at the beginning how full the trailers are. Just take one pallet off one by one. Typically there's one stop to two stops on each on each skid. You take the pallet down, bring it to the door, use the lovely hand carts here to complete the job. So let's get to it. <laughs>
see the the space is clearing up here so we're gonna go on ahead this is a big call probably be here close to an hour i think it's about six pallets already got one down so we're gonna go ahead get you guys here and let you watch <laughs> halfway through the load now that's all we got left for this location the sun's starting to come up let's get to it all right guys we are at our local mall here so after we're done here which I'm just waiting on a customer to show up after we're done here, we are uh, just two stops left. Both a couple places called Chuck's Roadhouse. Yes. So we can for Chuck's. Okay. So that's all good. Only thing about this mall is that we're inside a garage door. I'll show you here. 
and you can't run the reefer. So when you're waiting, it's kind of, you know, iffy. As you can see, we are indoors. So while we're waiting, I'll show you guys a little bit about it. I'll shut my door here. Just so I can keep some of my air in. The behind the scenes action of the mall. Goes all the way down behind the food courts. The cool thing is, we can just walk with our power walker. So here's our next stop. We've already done this stop here. Taking care of this stuff here. So we got our stuff ready. We got potatoes coming all the way over to this side. This is another delivery company. Looks like Cisco. Cisco Melton. Interesting way to stock pop bibs. Have you seen it like that before? So, when the customer gets here, we'll finish up this call. Here's our fries, corner. Finish up this call and we will head to our second last one. All right, guys, that wraps up the run. So we are, uh, we didn't get a chance to show you this morning about the V-Train. So there's an opportunity right now. I'm currently underneath the uh, underpass, waiting for the other driver. And uh, he's gonna bring back both trailers like I did bring them this morning. So he'll, I brought them, I went and picked them up this morning. He's gonna bring them back. Um, yeah, so it's a good opportunity for us to show you right now, hook it up. It's, um, it's approximately, so just in trailers alone, it's about 62 and a half feet with the tractor. So it's about 80 feet, guys, 80 foot rig here. And it's longer than your average transport that you see by a little bit, not by a lot, because we do use day cabs. We don't have sleeper cabs, which would make it longer. But yeah, so it was a good run today overall. Um, I think we had, I think it was uh, about very, very easy run. Great run. Full trailer, but great run. So it was eight stops, I think, or seven stops, about 600 pieces, 650 pieces. Wasn't too bad. Um, amount of weight we took off the trailer by ourselves was, I think, what does it say? It was, it was in kg, so it was about 6,600 kg. So we're up around 12,000 pounds, I think, that we hand delivered on our, uh, on our hand carts. So yeah, I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod. We're gonna do our thing, speed it up, let you guys watch. Watch us connect two trailers together. A lot of people probably see these things on the highway and they wonder how they go together or how they hook up. Um, it's very cool, very cool system. Works very well. You see a lot more companies um, using it nowadays. Um, Tim Hort, Cisco, Gordon Food Service. There's Cal Tires using it. Uh, the Brick uses uh, a different kind of, uh, they use, um, a, I don't think it's A-Trains, it's called, it's a pop style, dolly style. Um, so yeah, the job is, uh, it's a great job guys. For, for people that don't like to just sit in, in a driver's seat and uh, drive drive all day and bump docks, and if that's boring to you, which it is for me, um, I like kind of a go, go, go style. I like to race the clock. I don't like to, um, you know, stand around and wait for someone to load me or offload me. I like to get in, get out, get the job done and go do some more. And um, in this industry, it's kind of the way you gotta be because it's piecework. So the more you deliver, the more pieces you do, the more money you make, which is uh, which is just the way, way it goes. It wasn't too, too bad. Like as far as uh, the routing goes today, the routing was good. Sometimes the routing is not the greatest, but 
you know, if you're one of those guys that likes to be home every night with your family, you don't like the highway, you don't like to uh, be gone long hours or leave, leave 10 hours away, go a thousand kilometers at once, that guy almost hit me. Then uh, this is the type of job that's for you, you know. Um, maybe you guys have a better uh, understanding about it now, now that you've seen it, but for me, it's, uh, it's, it's suitable for me. I've been doing it now 10 plus years, almost 12, and um, I love it. I've brought guys over from, uh, you know, different different industries, and they love it. They they you know they, they didn't have um, they didn't have any idea about what it was, so they didn't really know, you know, what, how to get into it or, or what if they wanted to get into it even. So I find right now it's it's a good industry to get into. I'm finding a lot of people are telling me this while I'm doing hiring processes and whatnot. Um, it's it's seasonal or sorry it's not seasonal guys it's all year round so nobody stops eating and it's a proven fact okay it's everybody needs food to eat i know that the restaurants go down and stuff like that but um you know we supply more than that we supply health care we supply schools we supply daycares we supply uh hospitals so it's just it's all year round the work is there you don't you don't get laid off for for you know three quarters of the year like you do or half the year like you would in uh, automotive you don't, uh, you don't have to go, people that do cement work in the, in, the, in the summertime, you don't have to go do snow in the wintertime, you know, you don't have to have two jobs. It's all year round, it's not seasonal, you're guaranteed to work all, all year round, you don't stop working. There may be a little bit of a slow season, but you need it, because you're working hard, you know, you're, you're doing manual labor, so you need a little bit of a slower time, which is fine, but main thing is you're not laid off you're not going on EI you're not bugging the government for money so this is as real as it gets guys let's get to this let's get the trailers hooked up
guys to come in this doghouse here, hook them up, turn the two bottles that way. That one card you have in the pump shot there, I'm gonna have to go get it Monday when I pick up the Hino. Where do you want me to leave it? Put it by the shed in that gate. Okay, I'll try it. I'll try and get it in. Oh, I can't. Oh, key. Uh, no, the key's in Bill's truck. I'm actually gonna give you the, the key for his truck so you can put the scanners in the shot in the shed. Beauty. Just like that. All right, last night there was, I came by here this morning, there was two two deers right in the middle of the road here. And they come crossing over here. They go up there as you can see all the traffic. Way he goes. 